Wu Chengen's journey to the West is a confusing, made-up story about a real pilgrimage to India in the 7th century by Xuanzang, a Chinese Buddhist monk who was looking for holy texts. This well-known folktale was turned into a novel by Cheng Yi. It is one of the most famous works of classical Chinese literature, if not the most famous. The book is a funny adventure that makes fun of Chinese society and bureaucracy by talking about the human condition in an allegory. Journey to the West is a huge book with 100 chapters that are loosely divided into four parts. It tells the story of Tripitaka, a Buddhist monk who wants to find lost Buddhist texts and get to the Western Paradise, which is the Buddha's heavenly realm. In chapters 1 through 7, the first part of the book, you can read about Sun Wukong, who will become one of Tripitaka's disciples. He is a smart monkey who comes from Iraq. He is also called the Monkey King, or that great sage equal to heaven. The Monkey King spends his early years learning about Taoist philosophy. This first part of Journey to the West tells about his path to Taoist enlightenment, his painstaking mastery of combat, and his attempts to live forever. Even though Sun Wukong is smart and has done a lot, he is a chaotic spirit who dislikes authority. Eventually, he rebels against the Taoist gods and leads an attack on heaven. As punishment for being rash and causing trouble, the Buddha locks Sun Wukong up in a mountain for 500 years. In section 2, we learn about Tripitaka, also called Tang Sanzang, which is a made-up story about Xuanzang. In real life, this Buddhist monk was wise and experienced, and his trip to India was well-planned and successful. Tripitaka, on the other hand, is naive and doesn't know how to do many of the things he needs to know for his trip to go as planned. Because he doesn't know how dangerous the world is, he often gets into funny situations. This part also gives a short history of the sacred text that the Buddha hid from everyone except the most worthy. From chapters 8 to 12, everything is background, historical context, and getting to know the characters. When Tripitaka's journey starts in chapter 13, the first chapter of the third section, these four chapters set the scene. In the third part, which has chapters 13 to 99, Chungin tells the story of Tripitaka's epic, winding journey to find the Buddha's writings. He goes along Asia's famous trade route, the Silk Road, and sets his sights on Liyin Temple on Vulture Peak, where the scriptures are probably hidden. Even though the setting is familiar, Tripitaka's journey is strange and fantastic. He has to deal with bloodthirsty demons, angry spirits, and dangerous environments. As Tripitaka heads west, he meets both friends and enemies. His adventures are broken up into four chapter episodes. Along the way, Quan Yin, the goddess of mercy, protects him with her many followers, most notably the Monkey King, whom Tripitaka meets and recruits as his first and most powerful disciple in the first episode-based adventure. As the journey goes on, the monk meets up with a few more lost souls, who he brings along with him. Shortly after the Monkey King, Tripitaka recruits Zhu Baji, also called Pigsy, a heavenly spirit who was sent to the mortal world and turned into a pig demon as a punishment for his greed and lust. Then, he meets Sha Wujing, who is often called Sandy. Sha Wujing is another celestial spirit who lives in the mortal world and looks like a river demon. He also meets White Dragon Horse, a spirit that Quan Yin saved from a death sentence. White Dragon Horse is Tripitaka's loyal, but not very important, horse. The path is dangerous because demons and bad magicians live there, and there are also natural dangers like explosive mountains of fire. Tripitaka is saved over and over by his ragtag group of demon disciples, who learn how to live in a good way as the journey goes on. Eventually, the group gets to their destination, Tripitaka gets the texts he was looking for, and the monk's disciples are saved because they helped protect the monk and grew as people along the way. The fourth section is also the shortest. It only talks about what happens in chapter 100, when the group travels back to the east, and what happens after their effort. Each member is given a job in the heavenly government as a reward for their good deeds. Tripitaka and the Monkey King become Buddhists. Sandy becomes an Arhat, which is someone who has come a long way on the path to enlightenment but hasn't yet reached Buddhahood. White Dragon Horse becomes a Naga, which is a spirit that is half human and half snake, and Pigsy, whose continued greed kept him from growing as a person, becomes an altar cleaner. The story comes to an end when Tripitaka finishes his work and all of his hard work along the Silk Road pays off.